The purifying of karma is that, like I said earlier, whatever you did in your last life, it's going to roll over. Okay. So you don't want to continue making bad karma. Once we understand that I'm here suffering because of what I did in my past life or multiple past life, it's like, okay, great. Dealt with wrong cards. Fine. I got this sentence, what I call a karmic sentence. Okay. A car well, you know, um, and I've worked cases where I have told people this family has received a f capital life felony from karma. So you have misdemeanor felony, you have capital felony, and then life capital. That means you're done, bud. And I've seen judges hand, hand down sentences like four consecutive life sentence plus 25 years. <laughs> so I'm like, that judge don't like you, girl. Okay, so when I work these clinical cases in my short 36 years of my life, 18 years of clinical work, and I'm like, karma just pooped on that entire family. Son's got heart problems. The husband just got brain surgery. The mom's got problems. The grandmother just died. And you just keep going. It just keeps going. And I swear to you, I've met them. They can never do harm. I've never caught them say anything unwholesome, ill will, nothing. So that's why I know it's a karmic sentence that they have to play it. It has to play out and they have, you know, and we're like, oh, shoot. If you cause direct or indirect harm, <laughs> you're just creating karma for you. Karma that's very difficult to purify, difficult to cancel out. Difficult. So what does this mean? How does karma work? I have a bottle of water. Everyone starts out with a pond. You start out with a pond, you start out with a pond. It's pure, it's like this. The more unwholesome things that you do, you're just putting salt into your pond. You don't want the pond to be salty. That's the amount of karma you have accumulated in this lifetime. The more good things you do, say nice things, dedicate your body, speech your mind for the benefit of others, holding the door. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? You know. The more good things that you do, the more pure your water becomes. Less salt. Salt's being dissolved because so much more pure water is coming in. That's what we want. We want to start purifying our karma. Okay. You can't do that if you keep on behaving your old ways in your old days. So notwithstanding the games that you guys are playing, a real phenomena is happening with your karma and how she feels about it and the intention and all that it's a real thing it's now you know this someone's keeping track lord karma is keeping track of all the things that you're doing so in regards to the different faith and religion every december i tell people how have you lived your life and how you're going to justify that in front of all your gods Shiva, Vishnu, Buddha, Christ, how are you going to justify what you did to her, him, they? Sit there and think about what I just said. I don't live your life. I'm just here to pass on the message. I'm just a messenger. Separate the messenger from the message. <laughs> okay? So that's a, something I want you to think about. And, you know, and the more partners we have, we have to think about the karmic effects that we did that we didn't even know. Shit, out of all the bad things or unwholesome or unskillful, the word here is unskillful because we already witnessed how unskillful that was. So we don't call it a sin. We don't, you know, call it all these things. We call it unskillful, untrained behaviors that you did to all of your exes. Ever thought that because of those things that transpired, I am still suffering this very day both mentally and physically. Because if you lived like a saint, then you can cancel out, I didn't do those unwholesome, unskillful, untrained behaviors. And this was all organic as a direct result of old age, disease, and decay. But you can't rule that out because you in fact know for sure. And through honesty, just like me, that I treated my exes unskillfully with anger, control, and resentment, and jealousy, and, blah, 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 and how I made them feel. You sent me a message 
from Maya Angelou. And what did she say? The three things she said that is world famous. Everybody knows it. Oh, the thing I said about the... the Not about that, but some of her lines. Oh, just in general? Mm. I don't know so much. That's why I, she's been coming up on my radar for some okay. reason. I don't know the three she things. She says, I may forget what you said. I may forget what you did. But I will I never forget... The way how you make me feel. I'll forget what you said and did, but I'll never forget the way how you made me feel. So sit there, folks, all of us, including me. Think about how we made our exes felt. And because of how they felt, the potential for the karmic effects to roll over on us. Because it was unskillful. Because we didn't know what we did. We were ignorant. AF. You can fill in the AF, right? Understand the AF? Ask. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ignorant. <laughs> okay. So, you know, it's something that I left out because I felt like, no, oh, it's not the right time to throw this karma thing at them. But it's real and it's true. The teachings are there. You look closely enough, you will see karma unfolding. Why do you think American white people mm -hmm. like instant karma? Because they watched it happen. And they couldn't come up with any other explanation except instant karma. They got this guy that grabbed this girl's purse, robbery, strong arm robbery, on closed circuit television. Have you ever seen it? <laughs> Lightning hit his ass, and he dropped the purse, and he was able to, like, get back up and, like, look like he was drunk. He just got hit by lightning, okay? And it hit him again, and I think it hit him for the third time. I don't think he survived that one. Imagine that. Did that not just go, all this is on TV. You can't make this stuff up, okay? Wow. Did that not just go what I just said about four consecutive life sentence? Well, he received three. <laughs> okay, that we, we call that instant karma. Prove me wrong. Or come up with a better explanation. Right. All right, so I don't want to drag this on any, you know, we're getting late, okay? giggle shits and giggle about this but take it very seriously that's why you don't see me do anything unwholesome by accident or by nature and the direct evidence that you have is when i was, was with master chang and you just watch the entire behavior of forgiveness the entire time i'm not even from his tradition and i bounce right around and pay my respect on the floor. As soon as the monk says Sisifu, I was like, oh, here we go. In silk robes, don't care about my robes and how dirty it's gonna get. Hit the floor. I was starting asking for forgiveness already. Because I already know the entire encounter of talking, there's gonna be mistakes. Either jokes as a mistake, or you representing me gonna be a mistake, or you saying something unskillful on my behalf. I don't know what hell I'm there. I don't know why I'm still. I don't know why all three of that. But it, mistakes are gonna happen, and that's the direct evidence you know for sure now in your heart that the venerable led by example, and that man was sensitive during that encounter because he did not want to make a mistake. And when he did make a mistake, we saw all of that unfold. We saw all of this unfold, and that was signs of asking for forgiveness. So now when I talk about it, now you believe me. You're like, ah, this man just didn't come here with a bunch of BS and s trying to sell this to us. This man walked the path before all this ever even happened. All right, any questions? Is that part of the psychology of knowing yourself? Is that in the minute of something, you're doing something at your best, but you do acknowledge that, oh, I just made a mistake. So you ask for the forgiveness, so it's that self-check-in? Catch it. Yeah, yourself. catch it. Because both catch of y'all, yeah, both of y'all are, are fast. You're fast to fire, which is whatever is about to come out of your mouth, but so slow to admit your own fault. And what the Buddha taught was, Felicia, look at your fault. But Trump is this and Biden is that. Don't, don't stop deflecting. Look at your fault. You know, as I, as I come here today,